How's it going guys, it's Reggie Gamer here for another Black Ops 3 video and today I'm hopefully going to help you get revenge medals very easily in Black Ops 3 and multiplayer for the obviously the gold, diamond and dark matter camos. So I hope you guys find this useful, if you do in return I'll like be really really awesome if you want to check out other guides, I've got things like bloodthirsty guides, long shots, headshots etc. That will all be on my channel, uh, there will be a playlist for that in the description but if not, no worries, let's get into those videos. So um, the first things first, let's talk about what weapons this is useful for and how you get them. So basically revenge medals are when an enemy kills you and then when you spawn back in you kill them or you basically you have to kill the last enemy that killed you that's a revenge medal um and this i as far as i'm aware applies to the smgs shotguns and pistols so or at least it in black ops 2 so i'm pretty sure it does it definitely applies to the smg that's what i'm using right now but i'm not sure whether it applies to the shotgun or the pistols i'm pretty sure it does um now basically you need 10 of them so not too difficult and you know if you're kind of the you know if you're a really, really good player you can maybe get them if you're having good luck maybe all within one game if you're kind of an average player then maybe two games um and if you're slightly less of an average player but still you know kind of about average, maybe slightly less than that, and um, then you might get them in about three matches or so. I don't know, depending on how well you're doing and, and what kind of luck you're having. But basically, uh, there's two methods I suggest. Let's talk about the general class first, and then I'll talk about why each element is important later on. So the first class, I'd say, obviously, I'm not going to go through every class for every type of weapon for you know shotguns, SMGs, and pistols. I'm just going to go through for today. I'm going to be looking at the SMG class, and you, then you can apply similar bits of knowledge to other weapons and class and that kind of thing so first of all i've gone for the cuda and i've put the reflex sight on just for you know extra kind of accuracy and um then what i suggest is on the weapon you're using well this is for smgs anyway quick draw and grip um don't really need to explain why they're useful uh, there's not really any other kind of attachment i can't really see any other one that that uh that would really that be that useful so i don't know to be honest um I think that's better really. And then for the tactical, I've gone for smoke screen or concussion, up to you. I generally say go for smoke screen, but I'll talk about why it's so important in just a minute. Uh, for perk one, I've gone for six cents, and I've also used a primary, sorry, a primary, uh, not primary, a perk one greed wild card to go for a second perk one called overclock this means you can earn your specialist weapon or ability faster, and it's going to be very useful in just a minute. I'll explain why. Next, you want to go for fast hands. You can also go for tracker, that's as good as well. Tracker will mean you can see enemy uh, footprints, but fast hands good for, you know, kind of uh, swapping weapons and aiming faster after sprinting, so that's useful. I'll explain why in a minute. And finally, you know, perk 3, you can use it on anything. I've gone for awareness, you can hear enemies, so it's very, very good. But if you want to go for something like dead silence, where you move silently, then they won't hear you, that's obviously a good perk as well. Um, so now let's talk about why, you know, the two different methods that I like to use. So number one is if you go on to find match, bonus, <clears throat> and then you go into Chaos Marsh Pit, generally most of the time you're playing with Newtown, and Newtown's a nice small map, and quite a lot of the time you'll spawn, you'll get a kill, then maybe you'll die, and then, you know, you can easily hunt uh, the player that, or try to hunt the player that killed you last, and um, that will count as revenge medals. The map's quite small, you get lots of close quarters combat, and generally, even without trying, you'll get quite a few revenge medals, and obviously more if you try a lot more, so obviously it's very good for getting um, uh, revenge medals. Now, some people might say, oh, well, if it's all about enemies, then why don't I go into free-for-all? Well, free-for-all, the problem is that is that obviously you have more enemies. You have between four and eight enemies, normally more like eight enemies. Um, most of the other game modes, as far as I'm aware, all have six enemies and six um, teammates. So that's uh, six and six, but obviously it's only the enemies that count. So it's, um, it's you have basically a one in six chance of killing the guy that last killed you which is one in six chance of getting your revenge after they kill you obviously there are other factors and you know you might die before you can actually kill an enemy but i'm just saying if you were to kill an enemy you have a one in six chance whereas if you're playing free for all you know you would have a one in eight chance um because there's obviously eight enemies Oh no, sorry, I think 1 in 7, because there's 8 enemies, one, or 8 players, one of them's you, so 1 in 7 chance, that is. Um, but still, that's obviously a little bit more, and plus, with free for it's a bit more chaotic, there's loads of enemies, and they're all coming at you at once, so it's very difficult to actually know who's who, and what's happening, and actually try and survive, and actually find the enemy, it's very difficult. So it's much easier to go for one of the team-based kind of game modes, and um, also with uh, a bit of an objective. So, um, something like Domination is really, really bad, because what it means is that... Um, and oh sorry, I'm talking about method two here now. By the way, uh, so basically, the first method was going to that a map like Newtown, so going to that kind of um, mosh pit playlist, chaos mosh pit. I think I said yeah. Um, now the other method is um, 
using a specialist, which I'll talk about in a minute. But basically, uh, the game mode you want to go for is not something like Domination, because obviously with Domination you've got lots of enemies that group onto a flag, and if you've got lots of enemies in one area, then it's obviously very difficult to kill the enemy that last killed you, because they bunch up and then they'll all shoot you at once, so it's kind of very difficult. What I suggest for specialists is you go uh, and choose Nomad. Um, either method, you know, use Nomad, I'd say anyway, just cause it, to increase your chances, but um, definitely with this method, use Nomad because what I suggest is you use Nomad um, and and use Rejack because Rejack is going to mean that you can as soon as an enemy kills you uh, once you earn it you're going to have the ability to kind of um, not respawn but like get back up almost like I think last stand something like that I think that's what it's called so basically once an enemy shoots you and you actually got it you, you'll give you the chance to activate it and you will basically get back up um, there'll be a green smoke around you that kind of thing um, so that's going to be very good because obviously you'll be right by the player that just shot you um, unless they've been killed, which chances are they haven't, but it's always, there's always that little tiny possibility. So it's very good and obviously because we don't have tactical insertion in this game, we can't like put a tactical insertion near the enemy and then kill them. It doesn't work like that. So the best option I'd say is using Rejack. So what you want to do, use Rejack. Go into Kill Confirmed, and the reason why we're using Kill Confirmed, going on Kill Confirmed, is because it's a little bit of objective, and um, it's longer than TDM. It's team based, so you've got six and six, so you've got one in six chance of getting your enemy. Um, and also, you can get XP very fast. And do you remember I said earlier in the class setup that you should go for overclock, so you can earn your specialist faster? Well, if you earn XP from tags and kills, it's gonna be even, even faster. So basically, overclock along with, um, getting kills in kill confirmed as well as getting tags that's 150 points per kill and tag plus any other tags you find around plus overclock is going to mean it's going to you're going to earn reject faster so you're definitely going to earn it like four five times per match which is definitely going to be good which means you have um just from using reject alone um you know um, um on average about four or five chances at getting a um revenge medal um sometimes it obviously won't work your way and you go your way and sometimes things will happen which you don't want them to um and you know people the enemy might kind of be camping right over you uh when you're in reject and like when you're activating reject mode um and the green smokes around there sometimes enemies stay right by you so they shoot you as soon as you stand back up so that is a problem um so generally if you're going into a cl uh, like a very small kind of confined space like a small room uh, generally the enemy will easily more kind of be able to find you a lot easier so they'll be easier to shoot you down easier and the, the odds are against you so basically you want to what you want to do um pretty much earn your rejack um and then when you're very close be very very careful because if someone shoots you while your while rejack is like active then obviously you don't get to choose whether to use it or not automatically it will kind of put you into the reject mode anyway um so you've got to be very very careful um and like the problem is if you're put into reject and you don't want to be, you know, either because like uh, if there's several enemies in the area, then obviously that's not going to be good for you. So what you want to do when you're very close to earning reject, think very carefully and think which way is the best to go. Um, and obviously this is I also suggest using UAV, and um, because what it's going to mean is that you can obviously find enemies, but you want to find an area where there's only like one enemy. Um, you want to find them in a kind of a more open area, but not, you know, where there's loads of enemies. If there's loads of enemies, when you go into reject, they're all going to shoot at you and it's not going to be good. If there's like, and obviously you're not, sometimes you won't even be able to tell who shot you and who didn't. So, um, you want to find kind of one enemy, go near them, let them kind of kill you, but then go into reject and they're going to be, hopefully they're not camping right by you. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Uh, as soon as you get back up, try and throw a, a smoke screen, um, what do we call it? I can't remember what it's called. Let me just check. Uh, it's called, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called a smoke screen. Yeah. Throw a smoke screen. That's obviously going to mean, as well as the green cloud, it's going to be very difficult to find you. Then try and hide somewhere or just get away from the smoke. So they'll be thinking, hmm, he's still in the smoke. And actually you've moved away. And then try and kill them very easily. That's going to be your revenge medal. And that's really what I suggest. So basically when it gets very close to earning, like I say, don't earn it. You know, don't just go ahead and earn it. Um, when you're around enemies, uh, don't earn them in confined spaces because it's going to be more difficult to get away and, and jump up. Generally, they won't look up very much. So if you're in reject and then you you know, kind of get yourself back up, if you kind of then like jump away and up, it's like backwards and up sort of, they won't really see you as easily. And then you might have a chance as well. If, if you th throw a smoke screen, you have a better chance actually getting the kill. So um, that's the best way I suggest to get uh, revenge medals. Hopefully you found it useful, and if you did, like, be awesome. If there's anything else you want me to cover, then let me guys know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope, um, like I said, hope you useful. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon.